Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, showing you guys something that I discovered, uh, what was it, yesterday? Um, I saw a video made by Brendering, um, and I'll put the link in the description box, about how he controlled his particle hair with the curve object, and i had been trying to do that for a while, so I'm really glad that I discovered this, so... I've already started here and you see these um, these are the curves and they're, they're Bezier curves and they are actually controlling how the hair lays and the movement or you know the shape of the hair and you know I can Alt S to scale the tip you know so I think it's really cool and um, I just wanted to show you guys how I did that now um, each of these curves are in a throne group so let me show you this is group FL for front left um, this is group F1 for front um, for the very front one and this is FR for front right and this is right top right bottom and you need separate groups for each of them um, so that they can only control like this section of the particle here um, yeah so I just wanted to show you guys uh, a little bit about how I do this now if you want to do this but there are uh, two things you really need you need uh, a curve a bezier curve is what I use um, I haven't tried this with other curves but I assume that it would work just fine and you need an, R, um, an object with a particle system. Alright, let's go ahead and make that particle system. Just change this to hair. Put it at 50. Um, change the length a bit. Segments are at 5. Let's move that up to 8. Um, yeah, and that's your basic particle system. Very basic. Now let's go ahead and add the curve. That's the air curve and we'll just position this here. Now for the um, hair to fall in the right direction, the arrows need to be going out from the root. Um, so you can switch them, uh, turn it around. But if you've done this to a lot of curves and you realize, oh, you know, it's not going in the right direction, you can always just go into the T tab and go to switch direction and that should work out just fine okay now once you add this curve in order to get it to um, guide the particle here all you need to go do is go into the physics tab the force field and change the type to curve guide and boom the particle here all of the particle here is following this curve we can um, select this uh, control point and go to Alt S to taper the end of that, which controls the radius of that point. So that's pretty cool. And as you see, it like it's controlling um, the direction that the hair is going in, which I think is really neat. Now, if you want only half the hair to follow. Um, then you have to have two particle systems instead of one. Say I only want um, this half of the hair to follow this curve. Well, I need to make sure that I set my vertex groups. And I have. I have two vertex groups. Um, one and two. You do that by selecting the vertices, adding the group, and assigning them to that group. So I'm just going to go into the particle tab go down to density and select one. So now all of the hair is coming from here. There isn't any hair on this side of the ball. And that hair is being controlled by this curve. Now, let's say I want to add hair to this side now, group two, and I want that particle here to follow another curve. Let's go ahead and add the particle system to start it off. I'll add the particle system, change that to hair, change the number to 50, and look, it's already following this other curve. 
but we'll fix that in a bit. We'll change the density to 2, and even though all the hair is on this side, see, it's still following that curve. To get that to not happen, what you have to do is you, add, you have to add this curve to a group so that you can um, add it into the effector category. So you can do that from the T tab, new group, or you can do that from the object tab here. Just add a group and call that one to make it easier. And we can go onto the ball and go to the first particle system and tell it its effect a group here in the fields weight tab is one. Right? Or do I have another group already called one? No, it's called one. Okay, but the other one's still following because we haven't had added another Bezier curve. So let's do that Shift D to duplicate the curve and we'll position it and it's still affecting both of the hairs for some reason. I'll fix that. Oh, because it's still part of the same group. And we'll take it away from this group and add it to its own group, group 2. And then we'll go into the particle hair tab and tell it its affected group is 2. But this group is still following it. Oh, did I go to the wrong one? Yes. Sorry. Two. There. So now this one is following this curve. And this one is following this curve. Each time you want another curve for a section of particle here, uh, a particle group of hair to follow, you have to add it to another group. Yeah. So if you wanted to do ponytails or something like that, um, would have really specific um, long curves of hair, um, or to just personalize the look of your particle hair, think that. This is a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's really all I wanted to show you guys, and I'm still working on uh, this character. Here. I have a lot of groups here, group for each curve, and so far I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I haven't done these two yet, but I will soon. And I guess I can go ahead and show you guys my process for that. I'll call this left bottom and left top and I'll add this to a group called left top and this to a group called left bottom and then I will set up my particle system I'll add it. I'll take it from one that I've already done, F1, and just click this to make it a new one and call it um, left bottom hair and all that setup. I'll rename this one too. Left bottom. I'll go down here and um, change the effector group to left bottom and change the density did I add that vertex group yet? No. I have to add the vertex group so I'm going to go in the tab into edit mode select mm, these three vertices and add them to a group called the bottom assign and I'll go ahead and select these three vertices and add them to a vertex group called left top assign and I'll tab out go back here left bottom okay and I need to add that um, force field 
to the curve and it, and the hair is following it now. So I'll just go ahead and taper the end and make some adjustments. And I'll do the same for this one. We'll go ahead and add the force field group curve guide. And I'll add another particle group from the F1 called left top, right? Okay, left top. I'll change this to left top and density to left top and there we go it's following this curve yes no yeah that's wait, what oh, okay I put it at the wrong starting point but it's following that curve. Just move the curve around a bit. And I'll test to taper that. Move that forward a bit. Something like that. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you kind of understand what I, you know, trying to say here. Um, and I plan to keep doing this and see how it turns out. I haven't played with particle hair by itself in a while. I've been doing a lot of mesh hair. So this is quite fun. And yeah. So thanks for watching.